The Texans sitting at 5-2 and two on the year. And they've been playing well, really well. The winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. And it always hurts when you lose a tight game, as they did a week ago. I think each player starts thinking to himself, if I could have played better, one play here, one play there, maybe it could have changed this team's fortunes. But it absolutely illustrates how important it is to play a complete game if you want to win in the NFL. On the move to his left. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first down, here's Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texas. And now this offense gets ready to take over the football. First and 10. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now Stroud. Forced out to his left. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This is fielded at the 27. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Making the play defensively, Carl Lawson. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Pierce now up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Stroud. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. 
And this will be covered up. Pretty good result. It'll be down at the 14 yard. Okay, break. So now this That's offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins. Oh, he put it on the carpet for the fumble. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense. So that penalty on the offense, and the fumble recovery will stand. Now Jones. And he will find his man on the outside. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Throwing Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. Well. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed, and another example of it on that play. And he will have a Patriots first down. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive line with the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field? And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Christian Ga Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Cowboy 80. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Taking a shot for Dell here. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Houston. Take Dick. First and 10, it's Stroud. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They lost four there, and it's third down. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now is Stroud. To Pierce, they set up the screen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Pierce gets this one running right. Oh, he shifts past him. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 45-yard line. 98 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Stroud to the air on first and ten. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that made up save points on the board when this drive is over. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Stroud now on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
as a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step down, field to man coverage, and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. If you've been waiting all day for this, this Sunday night has been worth the wait. It's third down here. Going for it with Bruce. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Ready. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And a good run here as he'll run the way down to the four yard line. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Stroud wants to change it up with an audible. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here's second down. Stroud to throw it. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. Stroud. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And he hits the upright, but it carries in anyway. They're playing a distance there as he banks it in. So he's been automatic to the... one all we could have asked for all tied final minute as it kicks away here and with time a factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25 now the Patriots offense they work their way back out onto the field well partner here it is they've got the chance to win the game you'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game winning field goal we'll see what they can do and you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Now Jones. He's got Smith-Schuster. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. To throw is Jones. It's caught left side by Crooks. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Well, the entire game coming down to this kick from Cade York. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This from Tom Dempsey range here. And that is no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big time left down there. You work yourself in position to win the game, but the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime. And make sure you pump him up, too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. 